thing. Uh, Pat was talking to Brian Seaman and Mike Fratello post game on the tel- on the telecast, and he said he thought the bench unit came in with a lot of energy and basically helped decide this game for you guys. What were your impressions of the overall second unit play tonight, you included? Uh, top of the fourth quarter, I thought we just did a good job of being assertive, being aggressive on the offensive end. Um, I think that led to a lot of stops, and, and we were able to create some separation at the top of that fourth quarter and give ourselves an opportunity to kind of coast the rest of that game. Thank you. We'll go next to Law. Hey, Lou, uh, congrats on the win. Uh, that Those first five minutes of the fourth quarter might have been the most powerful display uh, I've seen from you all season. I mean, you've had more points um, in individual games overall, but what – what allowed you to see what how Chicago was defending you and to get you in the zone that you were in, knocking down shots outside, inside, and finding teammates for buckets as well? Just take it, taking advantage of the coverages they were playing. Um, they were just trying to send me right. And, you know, I, I don't think they did a, a, a great job of just cutting off those seams. A lot of teams can have um, success with sending me right. Um, but, you know, they were just – opening up the lane. And so, you know, I was able to make one going left with, with my pad and it fade away. Um, and then after that, I got about three layups in a row after that. And, you know, the, the rim gets this big once, once you start making shots that you're comfortable with. And then after that, I was able to get everybody involved. And so that's just how, how it played out in the fourth quarter. Thank you. Next we'll go to Ohm. Hey, Lou, uh, Kawhi in his last two games has like 36 points and 33 points, and he's got like, I think, averaging like seven rebounds, four assists. I'm wondering, what have you seen in Kawhi since Paul has gone out? Kawhi Leonard, man. Like, <laughs> I just think he understands that he has to be more aggressive um, on the offensive end when Paul is not out there, um, especially with how this team is built. You know, we have some primary scorers. We understand our roles, and you know, once the second leading scorer go out for you to be the first leading scorer, um, you got to just you got to close that gap. And I, I think he understands that and what he brings to the table. So that's the only thing I've really seen. Thanks, Lou. Thanks. We'll go next to Farbad. Hey, Lou, uh, I don't know if you realize it, but you and uh, Marcus almost outscored the entire Bulls team in the fourth quarter by yourselves. Uh, twenty six points, twenty eight. Uh, Marcus said when he was coming to the bench, he envisioned you and him to be just like this scoring machine. Is that something that you have started to pick up on and gotten more comfortable with? Um, it's, it's not a bad idea. I, I think, you know, he's he's been in a position where he's been a primary scorer on some teams. I've been a primary scorer on some teams. And the, the great thing about Marcus and I, uh, we're both selfless guys. We're, we're both team first guys that understand that at any moment we can go off like he did in that fourth quarter. You know, I, I don't I don't I don't think I saw him miss a shot in that fourth quarter. Um, and I kind of got going as well. And so, you know, with just our mentalities and the way that we carry ourselves and how we approach the game, I think we can be a we can be a great duo and bring the rest of the guys off the bench with us. Thanks. We'll go next to Miriam. Hey, Lou, congrats on the win. Um, Ty, Ty was saying that, that you, you've been on Zoo a lot and that you guys have been working together, but um, wanted to just kind of check in with you about, you know, how that, how that chemistry is growing and, and what's your analysis and your critique of, of how Zoo is coming along? Um, like I mentioned the last time, it's, it's a work in progress. Um, I hadn't, as many years that I've played with Zoo, we don't play a lot of minutes together. And, and so um, uh, in years past, I'm, I'm used to a, a certain way that I, I like the bigs to play off of me. And um, the better that Zoo plays, the, the more that he continue to do his job, I think the game will continue to be easier for him um, with playing with me. So uh, I just, I, I'm just in a, in a space where I, I want Zoo to be great. I want to push him. I want to challenge him to be the best player that he can be. And at the same time, um, we can feed off of each other's success and continue to build. And so that's it. Just trying to continue to build with him, uh, continue to help him grow. He's still a young player. Um, and, and that's it. You know, I, I just, I, I get on him about things that I think that's, that should be easy for him and that'll help him in the long run. And it's going to ask real quick too about playing in in Chicago in the United Center. Is, is do you get a kick out of that? Um, yeah, it was cold today. It was <laughs> cold. It was a little a little different environment in the in the arena without the fans and um, without the hype. But um, I mentioned on my Instagram today. You know, this is my 16th season, and you know, I'm still kind of in awe of of some of the things that I've been able to experience 
um, throughout the game of, the, of basketball. And so um, to be in Michael Jordan's house, um, that never gets old to me. So it's, it's always a special experience. Cool, man. Thank you. We have one last one. We'll go to Tomer. Hey, Lou, congrats on the win. Um, just curious, you've obviously been a scoring guard for most of your career, but you, your playmaking has really taken off the last couple of years. Uh, how have you developed uh, reads uh, in terms of when to attack, when when to attack um, scoring-wise, when to attack playmaking-wise, uh, uh, you know, decision-making? How has that played into your career throughout as you've developed? Um, I think it's, uh, one, is experience um, and also evolution. You know, I, I think... Um, with knowing, knowing myself, know what I bring to the table, um, understanding angles, uh, knowing that I'm starting to play slower, um, and just understanding what defenses are what, what defenses are going to give me. You know, a lot of a lot of teams are going to give me a lot of attention because I am a scoring guard, and I can use that to my advantage by getting my teammates involved. And I've I've been blessed to play with some very talented guys, and um, they make it look easy for me. Are there shots you've taken earlier in your career that you realize you probably shouldn't be taking, and you know just good oh, shots? Yeah. Ton of them. <laughs> a ton of them. My first four years is kind of cringy. It's hard to watch. So for sure. Thank you. Thanks, Lou. Have a good night.